I started my research looking at the newly acquired textile collection at the museum, specifically looking at uh, two Ottoman towels uh, in the drawing room. I started exploring the Arab Hall, and there was a specific series of tiles that really caught my attention. The inscription on the tiles comes from a poem written by this um, prominent sheikh that used to live in uh, Jizin, in the town that I'm from in the 1300s. In my last trip to Lebanon in December, I collected a bunch of summa berries from Jizin, from that town, and dyed the fabrics that I've used in the art pieces with the summa berries. And then I wanted to get a more varied, um, like, a, like a bigger variation of colors. So what I did is that I took a few of these fabrics and shifted the color using what we call an iron bath. And that iron bath was made by, with the rusty nails that I found in my new home in Dubai. So the idea was connecting my new home to my hometown, to London, where I lived for, for years, and to the museum. Throughout history, um, people believe that the sun and the moon hold uh, talismanic powers. The idea is that the sun gives out an energetic mood and warmth, and the moon gives serenity and tranquility. In her rays, I wanted to focus on braiding, because in West Asia, there's also the belief that braids lock in the evil eye and bad energies. So you'll see the, the braids kind of falling on the wall as a representation of the rays of the sun and the golden hues. And in Sukun, it's like the grayish tones that are soothing uh, color-wise, but also it's the circular weave that kind of, I don't know, there's a, there's a sort of like, I don't know what the word is, it just, I, just, I just need to do this. <laughs> the collaborative piece was the most challenging piece of all because we're putting eight people that don't know each other together and asking them to create a piece together um, throughout just three days. I didn't know what to expect, obviously. So when I came here the first time and they said, oh, we're gonna do embroidery, I thought, oh gosh, I don't even know how to spell that, you know, let alone do it. So I thought the best way of doing it is to give each person a panel and they work on their own panel. And I thought embroidery was the best idea because not only is it, is it linked to traditions of, of stitching circles in, in the Levant, but also I wanted to reference the, the textile pieces in the drawing room. When we started the workshops, we, we walked around uh, Leighton House and, and the Arab Hall specifically and saw a lot of the really beautiful collection of, of different artifacts from different parts of the Arab and Islamic world. And I saw the Eye of Fatima repeated a lot. And uh, it's, it's a symbol that warns off the evil eye and it's a symbol that a lot of people have in their homes growing up and so I, uh, I kind of like latched onto this idea. We had a lot of laughter, I'm sure you heard us today and all the other days as well, a lot of laughter going on, a lot of sharing of experiences and personal um, memories and, and backgrounds and that was probably the best thing I must say. So when I realized when I had the panels in front of me, I didn't want something to something static, I want something that had a bit of mobility. So I didn't want to stitch them all together on one piece of fabric. I wanted to keep them each flowing on its, on its own to kind of refer, like, not reference, but like to kind of show that they were made by different people yet connected somehow together. Oh, oh. Mm. oh my God, look. Oh my God. This to me was learning something completely brand new. Uh, and it was something that I really appreciated and, and adored. And I think this is not going to be the last time that I try something like this. I was aware that this was part of the Arab Britain uh, program as a commission. Leighton House kind of is an, ex is an example of how um, Arab culture has some sort of, had some sort of influence back then. I don't even have to, to try to somehow bring um, some sort of like my Arabness to um, to something that's British. It just comes naturally. With these pieces, it's just linking the land that these tiles come from, which is in Lebanon and in West Asia, to uh, to the museum in London. Mm -hmm.